North Carolina's industry is associated with agriculture, pharmaceuticals, and chemicals, and biotechnology fits right into those industries and help elevate them to the next level of technology. Biotechnology is very important to the average family in North Carolina because it produces food in higher quantities, in better quality, and therefore the food is not only more nutritious, but it costs less than it would be if you had to do it the old fashioned way. North Carolina bootstrapped it in that they were the first state to set up an organized biotechnology program initiative and then funded through state funding. And it turned out to be a perfect thing to do because we had some wonderful leaders who had faith in the future. They knew that North Carolina had to grow a new economic model through the help of all the universities, the community colleges, the legislature, the governor, everybody working together created this huge growth of the industry in North Carolina. Then we established an economic development group that helped small companies get started and set the foundation so that they could get funding from venture capital and to start developing their products in a way that they would be in position then to uh, manufacture those products. The nice thing about biotechnology is you work in a very clean environment. It, it's very environmental friendly and your salary probably is double what it would be for, for a lot of other kinds of industries. Working in the laboratories uh, actively in North Carolina is somewhere in the neighborhood of 60,000 people. The 14 pharmaceutical manufacturing plants in the state were within uh, a 30 minute drive of every farmer in North Carolina. Science in today's world is extremely important in early education because we live in a technical world. And if the young people aren't prepared for that technical world, they won't be able to either understand what's happening in the world, but they won't be able to get good jobs and have the skills they need. The whole reason for the Hamner Institute is to move us to the next level in uh, chemical and pharmaceutical product development. That's the whole reason for it. And so we are establishing a whole new set of tools and tests to do the safety assessment on new products. Plus, we're developing a whole new way to do translational research to move innovations from the professor's desk to a product, we are able to have whole new processes now to do the proof of concept and develop the prototypes that will be the future products. We live in a global world of uh, competition today. And so you've got to bring together academics, government, and private enterprise in some way to work together in order to meet the competition. And North Carolina put a lot of emphasis on promoting biotechnology nationally and internationally. And like with Governor Hunt and I, we would go to Europe and we did the same thing in Asia. And we would tell them about our infrastructure and all the good things we had to help biotechnology grow and develop in North Carolina. The Hamner Institute right now works with Chinese on several uh, pharmaceutical products uh, and uh, they, they need the technical backup and the technical uh, expertise in areas like molecular biology and genomics. I would like for the legacy of this institute to be that it represents one of the world's leading chemical and pharmaceutical development institutes in the world. Yeah.